Hello Salem, I'm your mayor Chuck Bennett and I'm excited to be back with you this month to bring you news and information about what's happening at the City of Salem. Let's start with the announcement of the City of Salem Volunteer Awards. Each year we recognize the wonderful people who give their time and talent to this community in many ways. We highlight the good work done by individuals and group efforts. Find out about the nomination categories and more on the City of Salem webpage. The deadline is September 25th. Also, the month of September is recognized nationally as Emergency Preparedness Month. The City of Salem has several programs to support the community in the event of natural hazards like flooding or emergency situations. For example, subscribe to receive community alerts from the City of Salem. You can find all the other services on the city's emergencies and disaster preparedness page. And to continue September's theme, I'm pleased to have with me Greg Walsh, the City of Salem Emergency Preparedness Manager, as my guest interview today. Let's find out what Greg can tell us about disaster planning for our own households and for the community. Well, Greg, thanks for uh, joining us today. Now, your office is in the fire department, is that correct? Yes, sir. I sit at Fire Station 1, and I work day-to-day -day in the fire department, but I do provide services and emergency management, emergency preparedness for the entire city, so I can uh, work for any department that needs help. Okay. So you do work with all the city departments. Do you work with community groups as well? Yes, sir, I do. And I one of the best parts of my job is that I get to go out into the community and provide preparedness training and work with our CERT, which is another volunteer program that you had mentioned already. How does it uh, how does it help the community to have this kind of emergency preparedness activity underway? How's that how's that all fit in? Sure, sure. So uh, having preparedness activities throughout the community help the community in in the event of disaster, whether it's COVID nineteen, whether it's flooding, whether it's even in the fall, we do a lot for leaf control to help up prevent flooding in that way. So right. we have our CERT members go out and clear storm drains in and around their homes. So your CERT members. That's, what's CERT mean again? CERT is Community Emergency Response Team. And that's my neighbor who has been trained by you and the department on responding to any kind of emergency activity. That's, there's like a big, um, moving module in in my neighborhood is that where all the i hear about this cash but yes sir so the the cert teams go through 21 hours of free training that we put on by the city and it involves some first aid some emergency preparedness a little bit of radio communication um, and a few other skill sets just to help people be prepared and throughout the community we have 14 caches so they're the moving containers or conix containers and those include supplies for first aid um, some radio communication setting up a little field station not really food and water, but the things that we can leave that'll sit there for a long time. Do you need people? Always. Always? So if someone is interested in getting involved in this, being part of this activity, call you? They can call me. They can look on the cityofsalem.net slash emergencies page where we have a sign up for cert link. And that's, uh, we set up classes on a regular basis. With COVID-19, we've been a little off, but we're trying to get back into it. So, we talk about all of the theoretical, we all worry about the earthquake, uh, certainly watching wildfires, we've had flooding, we've never had a pandemic. How has this worked during COVID-19? One of the best responses I had was from CERT members or people that have come to my presentations talk about preparedness and them saying, I'm so glad I listened to you and bought extra toilet paper. Really? <laughs> yes. It's the preparedness It's thing. the preparedness okay. aspect. So people get prepared and they feel so much more confident when something happens. Yeah. Now, also, we plan for these things. So when it started happening, we already had plans in place. So the city started taking actions that we've pre-discussed and planned. Okay. So if uh, when people ran out of hand sanitizer, things like that, would, would they call you and say, where would I find hand sanitizer? Or how, well, how does that work? So we did get some calls from community members asking where they could find things. But more what we do as the Emergency Operations Center and providing emergency management is providing 
are support agencies or support services. So okay. fire, police, EMS. Thank you very much for coming to the city of Salem and providing this tremendous uh, service to our community. And uh, I hope folks will make contact with you, have them into, have you into their church, civic organization, neighborhood association, and talk to them about the tremendous work you're doing, you and your CERT volunteers. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. much. Some of the really important things that we try to have in every kit is um, some food, some water, a flashlight, maybe a uh, space blanket or medical kit. And then this is my water bottle that I have with me every day. For me, it's really important that before I leave anywhere, I fill up my water bottle so I always know I have water with me. There's, um, I have hats, socks, uh, extra water, some uh, hand warmers, a candle for light and warmth if necessary, uh, some soap and deodorant, uh, uh, a winter hat, some plastic bags and trash bags to waterproof things. I have um, a notepad, sunglasses, chapstick,